This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Let's, uh, let's talk about something else that we should address. The biggest story coming out of this go home raw for no mercy was Rob Van Dam supposedly showing up late, at least in the ring for the Alliance promo. And as the legend goes, it became part of the storyline. Did you ever hear about this? That maybe Van Dam wasn't where he needed to be in the backstage area, missed his cue to get in the ring. And then they said, well, hell, let's just go with it and turn it into a story. I did not. Uh, it's an interesting, uh, uh, assumption and you know, but he, 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 he knew where the storyline was going. So I can't imagine, imagine Rob just a W O L right before the interview, but, uh, it did show him as a, as an individual. And that's kind of what we always wanted to do. He was a kind of, a, I don't say lone wolf because uh, that's kind of an Austin thing, but, uh, him being defiant and, and, and being an individual, you know, and, and in our mind, you know, maybe Rob was still representing, uh, ECW even, uh, as their, their last hope for validation, but I never heard that story, to be honest with you. And that doesn't mean it couldn't have happened. It just means that 20 years ago, I don't remember that detail. I also want to bring up, um, Rob Van Dam at this point. I mean, his booking has not exactly helped him as far as the storyline goes. Like it seems kind of quick that he's already in the main event. But Lord, people are loving the matches, except for maybe the guys he's wrestling. Uh, it, it's pretty common in this era, especially when he first came in to see guys leave a little worse for wear on the other side of that match. A lot of folks getting busted open. Do you remember anyone complaining to you about Rob Van Dam? No, because they knew my mindset was, you know, it ain't ballet. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I may have, I don't remember doing it, but. If I did, it was somewhat casual to tell Rob, he's got to be a little bit more careful. He didn't ever go out to hurt somebody. He never intended to, to cause bodily harm in the process of a fictional athletic presentation. Uh, but his style had a small margin for error. You know, that coast to coast, he did, uh, you know, you don't practice this, that damn thing, you know, no, with that. no. So, uh. But, but I, I, I know he didn't have malice and I know that if he did potato somebody that he would tell them, you know, I apologize like all the boys do. Yeah. But I, I just think that he was, Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.